All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to more Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I need to stop. I said I, said I need to stop every time, but you know, I keep going. Anyway, last time we did lots of kind of cleaning up stuff. We got some more wizard cards from the racing and everything, and the tossing, and then we also got our third potion vial, and we just did some more cleaning up, some housekeeping. Today, we have a night segment, so let's walk in and see what happens. Where were you, Ron? I beat some McGonagall's office, and then I had to go to see Hermione. McGonagall told me that Ginny's gone missing. They can't find her anywhere. But it gets worse. It's Hermione. She was attacked. She's been petrified. Huh? They found her just like nearly headless Nick. Outside moaning myrtles. Steph is aboard. McGonagall told me that they were doing everything they could to find Ginny. So, I went to see Hermione. I found a piece of paper in her hand. A page torn from an old library book. That must have been what she was doing before she was attacked. What was the page about? It was all about basilisks. They're giant snakes that live for hundreds of years. Apparently, a basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? Yeah. Spiders don't like them. They run away when a basilisk is near. And there was something else. Hermione had written the word pipes on the page. Pipes? Pipes. That's all, just pipes. Ron! This is it! This is the answer! The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk! A giant snake! That's why I've been hearing the voice and nobody else has heard it. It's because I understand parcel tongue. Harry, do you think Ginny might be in the Chamber of Secrets along with that flipping big snake? McGonagall said they searched everywhere in the castle, but no one knows where the chamber is. We've got to find her. Okay, so what we need to know is how the basilisk's been getting round the place. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Pipes! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing the voice inside the walls. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's a bathroom? What if it's in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? Okay, so what do we do? The place is crawling with prefects looking for Ginny. I'll go first. You join me in Moaning Myrtle's on the second floor. The tension is thick. Hurry up, Harry. We need to go to the second floor. Woo, all right, okay, second floor. Ooh, goodness. Do we need to go that way? Nah. Okay, let's hurry, let's hurry up and get to the second floor then. I love how they always say, the place is crawling with prefects, and it's like, no it's not. It's the same thing. There are no prefects, extra prefects around. You think they'd be on the grand staircase, but they're not. Like, just, just run down to the second floor, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So we kind of found out what's been going on. Which... Just saying, things look a little bit differently in the movie. I was a little shocked when I first watched the movie. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm just going to the bathroom. Oh, it's you, Harry Potter. What do you want this time? To ask how you died. Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right here. I'd hidden because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. I was crying when I heard someone come in. It was a boy, and he began speaking a different language. I went to tell him to go to use his own bathroom, and then I died. But how? I just remember seeing these great big eyes. Where exactly did you see the eyes? Over there, by the sink. Harry, say something! Something in parcel tongue! But, go on, Harry. Okay, then. Uh, open up. English. I'm going down there! Oh, I must be miles under the school. That was a lot, like I said, abridged to death. Really, Harry? By yourself? What's this gate for? Why is this here? He just went by so he's like, I'm going down there! Woo! And just jumps down. I'm like, I understand you're a Gryffindor, but goodness. And he says, 
I must be miles beneath the school. What do you mean miles beneath the school? What are you talking? I'm not going to save here. What are you talking about? What do you mean you're miles beneath the school? Absolutely not. Okay, whatever. 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 You did not fall a mi miles beneath the school, Harry. Okay. She won't wait. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive, but only just. You've got to help me, Tom. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk, and it could be along at any moment. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Ginny's like this. She's been writing in the diary. My diary for months. I grew stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the Serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly had this nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes. But you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realized yet? I am Lord Voldemort, the greatest sorcerer in the world. Sorry to disappoint you in all that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think! To business, Harry. I'm going to teach you a little lesson. Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. Kill him! Not my beans, not my beans. Woo! Okay, so we're fighting a snake now. With the sword of Godric Gryffindor. Goodness. And Fox just clawed its eyes out. I don't know what more to say about this. Now we're fighting a giant snake. We can use the sword. We don't really use any of our spells that we learned up to this point. It's all about the sword. We're just pretty much, you know. Kill him! Okay, so this is very simple. But, jeez, it's like the past few episodes, just everyone's worst fears. Snakes and spiders. Just dodge, just spit. Oh, the venom. I'm saying spit. Oh my goodness. Okay. Aim at the snake. Let's see if there's a basilisk. Go chase that sword every time. I have a wand or anything. Fox up there will drop treats, pumpkin pastries, cauldron cakes, whenever you need them. Well, at some point. Where is the basilisk? I'm uncomfortable. Kill the boy. There it is. Alright. Okay. Oh, it's so gross. And there we go. Oh, jeez, they're like rocks falling from the sky and everything. So here we are in the Chamber of Secrets. Final battle. Everything we've been doing in this game has been culminating up to this point. And the music's pretty great, too. Die, Harry Potter. I just remember just being like so like I don't know when I was younger it's like the like big thing like my cousin I'd watch my cousins do this come on come on there we go like, I would watch my cousins do this, and like, it would just be, I don't know. I don't know. 
Hello, this is like the game of my childhood. First favorite game ever. That's uh Let's go grab that. Thank you. Nope, okay. Oh gosh, that's Basilisk. Oh, he was like, why didn't he attack me? That's weird. I'll sneak around. I don't know where it is. Jimmy is dying, Harry. Oh my gosh. And like Tom Riddle just <laughs> taunts you the entire time. Jenny is dying, Harry. Oh jeez. I'm trying to keep the camera like in line. Just dodge his venom. Keep dodging it. As you can see, Harry, Hermione's made a complete recovery. Anyway, did you know that the House Cup is about to be awarded? The presentation's in the Great Hall. Yeah, I hope we've got enough house points to beat Slytherin. I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we managed to do it two years in a row. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. Alright, if you do not have enough house points to secure the House Cup, Sorry, there's still time. Explore and excel at all the challenges throughout Hogwarts. You'll be rewarded. That's like if you wanted to do flying again with Madam Hooch. If you wanted to do Quidditch again. But we have 546 house points. Come on, guys. What? We gotta do anything else. Slytherin can't catch up. There's just no way. We have decimated them. Go to Dumbledore. He'll talk to you. You did really well against the Basilisk, Harry. Your father would have been very proud. Loyalty is a virtue, Harry. Never forget that. Bad leadership is all about being more single-minded than others. Good leadership is all about eating large quantities of cake. Okay, and on, on that, um, those words of wisdom by our um, headmaster, Albus Dumbledore, we are not quite done. We have a few things to do. So as you'll notice, Fred and George are open during the day right now. So they have a few things that you can get. There's a few wizard cards that you can get. I need to actually check which ones. Take a look around, Potter. Do you want to? Do we want to buy the Alhamora spellbook twice? I mean, for meme's sake, the answer is always yes. But we're gonna pretend we did that in spirit. Let me check and make sure what cards I actually have to buy, so I'm not buying all of them. How much is this famous witches and wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I don't know which one this is. Hold on. How much is this famous witches and wizards me? card? Then I can tell me. 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. Don't do this to me. I need to know. Take a look around, one. Potter. How much is this famous witches and wizards card? 30, I'm 30 so hurt. bucks every flavor beans. There has to be a tell. Come on. Mmm. Okay, we're just gonna try this. How much is this famous witches and wizards card? I'm so disgusted. 30, 30 Please, bucks hopefully every we get the ones. Beans. Hopefully we get I'd the like to buy that, please. If I may say so, an excellent choice, Mr. Potter. I don't think that was good. Am I the Grandma Greens? Number 77, Norvell Twonk. And I have Norvell Twonk. Pretty sure. We... 
We're gonna read this again. I'm pretty sure we already have normal twonk, but died save normal twonks died saving a non-magical child from that a runaway manticore. Post humor humor hum, hum, post humor humanously awarded. Oh, basically after he died, he was awarded the Order of Merlin First Class. Okay. Gosh, How much probably... is this famous witches and wizards card? This 30, 30 so bucks every flavor beans. This game is so I'd like mean. to buy that, please. There's two that I need. That's one of our spare cards. Good luck with completing your collection, Harry. I'll oh, toss off. I'll toss off. Oh no, I need this one. Oh, Glover Hipworth, inventor of the Pepper Up Potion, cure for the common cold. Oh gosh, that's cool. Is there anything here that interests you? Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, maybe which is the middle How one? How much is this famous witches and wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I'd like to buy okay, that. Okay, we have no choice but to buy it. I'm worth the grind. No doubt you'll soon be completing your collection, Harry. Number 60, Laverne de Montmorency. All right, Laverne de Montmorency, inventor of many love potions. All right. As they're not gonna tell you, I think I need more beans. I'm gonna go grind some more beans. I will be back. All right, back in the shop. Ugh. Being grinding is the last time we have to grind. Got a hundred beans. These cards recharge. What? Feel free. How much is this famous witches and wizards card? Thirty, thirty bucks every flavor beans. Okay, I'm glad I'd like I got more to buy than that, I needed. Please. If I may say so. An excellent choice, Mr. Potter. What's this one? Number 77. Norvell Twonk. Norvell Twonk again. How much is this famous witches and wizards card? 30, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. That's one of our spare cards. Good luck with completing your collection, Harry. Number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. Duplicate of Gregory the Smarmy. I don't see any more cards here, so for completion's sake, let's do it. Balloon holster? What does this cost? 20, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. With the balloon holster, you can carry loads more non-explodable luminous balloons. Now we can hold more balloons. But we don't really need that. How much is this stink pellet bag? 20, 30 bucks every flavor beans. I'd like to buy that, please. Buy this too. Now you can carry more stink pellets, Harry. All right. We now have everything. Everything. So now, you may recall that some students on some places said they wanted some cards from us. Well, Throughout the game, we've been getting lots of duplicates. So, that's what they're for. We're going to trade them. Alright, so there's someone on the seventh floor. I'll meet you guys at first trade. Do you want to swap famous witches and wizards cards? I'll give you a card number 81, Kuang Po, for number 43, Cyprian Yaudu. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Number 81, Kuang Po. All right, Kuang Po, Chinese wizard who discovered the uses of powdered fireball eggs. All right, you. Do you collect famous witches and it's wizards you, cards? Huh? I'll give you card number 94, Merton Graves, for number 31, Balfour Blaine. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Number 94, Merton Graves. All right, number 94, Merton Graves. Plays cello with the popular whizzing band, Weird Sisters. I wonder if he's like the last one that we have to get of them to do. Do you collect famous witches and wizards cards? Yes, I do. I'll give you card number 78, Orsino Thruston, for number 98, Dymphna from Marge. Okay. 
Let's swap. Here you are. Number 78, Orsino Thruston. Orsino Thruston plays drums with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. How many members do they have? Hello? You? You next? You next? Yes, you. you. I'm glad the Quidditch season's over. I think it's a stupid game. Well, you know what? I think you're stupid. I collect famous witches and wizards cards. Do you? I'll give you a card number 61, Havelock Sweeting. For a number 77, Norval Twonk. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Next card. Number 61, Havelock Sweeting. Oh my gosh, she's with a unicorn. Havelock Sweeting, unicorn expert, helped set up the unicorn reservations throughout Britain. <gasps> it's a unicorn. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I collect famous witches and wizards cards. Do you? I'll give you card number 75. Mungo Bunham for number 13, Andros the Invincible. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Number 75, Mungo Bonham. Yes, King. Anyway, <laughs> Mungo bon Bonham, famous wizard healer, founded at St. Mungo's Hospital. Mungo? Sorry. Famous wizard healer found at St. Mungo's Hospital for magical ailments and injuries. Is that literally me? That's me. It's totally me. Hello. Do you want to swap famous there witches and wizards cards? I'll give you card number 23, Glenda Chittuk, for number 27, Mirabella Plunkett. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Number 23. Glenda Chittuk. All right, Glenda Chittuk, popular presenter of the WWN, Wizarding Wireless Network program, Witching Hour. Okay. All right, the card test is getting fuller and fuller. Do you collect famous witches and wizard cards? I'll give you card number two, Cornelius Agrippa, for a number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Number two, Cornelius Agrippa. Did you see him jostling around like that? That's crazy. I just noticed I did not read that. He was literally number two. Sorry. Cornelius Agrippa, celebrated wizard imprisoned by the non-magical for his writings. Okay. Do you collect famous witches and wizard cards? I'll give you card number 36, Jocelyn Wadcock, for a number 84, Roland Kegg. I don't have that card. What? What do you mean I don't have that card? Hold on, what is going on? I fought this guy to the T, come on. I need a dupe. Well, thank goodness all this stuff is stuff that we can find. Okay, hold on. Okay, whew. I was about to panic and vomit. Here's one. Number 84, Roland Keg. We have a dupe of Roland Keg. Okay. Oh? Did I not come in here? This is strange. Number 77, Norvel Twonk. How many Norvel Twonks are we gonna get? So many Norvel Twonks. I'll give you card number 36, Jocelyn Wadcock, for a number 84, Roland Keg. Okay, let's swap. Here you are. Does anyone want like a, another version of Norvel Twonk? Because I have like three of them. Number 36. Jocelyn Wadcock. All right, Jocelyn Wadcock, chaser for the Pottlemere United Quidditch team, record for highest number of goals during British season this century against Bally, Bally Castle Bats, 1931. Okay. All right, so apparently, I'm pretty sure I put this in a video. I know I did, but 
we're just gonna go in here and get this one. We were finding some cards, like, strangely at one point, so... Ooh, I tried to run and get it. This should be Herp of the Fowl, number 11. I know I recorded a second segment on this. Number 11, Herp of the Fowl. Just for posterity. Number 11, Herp of the Fowl, Ancient Greek, first known creator of the Basilisks. So, basically, guys, everything in purple we have. We have everything. Except for one. I'll meet you guys back at Great Hall. Alright, here we are. You have anything to say to me, guys? I'm really looking forward to the Quidditch season next term. Everyone just kind of kind of say the same thing. So, we've already spoken to Professor Dumbledore, Headmaster Dumbledore. Is he called Professor? I don't know. But let's talk to him. Ah, Harry. I see that you now have 100 unique famous witches and wizards cards in your folio magi. Please, take this card to complete your collection. Wow, thanks, Professor Dumbledore. Run along then, Harry. Number 101. Harry Potter. Wicked. And to round off our collection, number 101, Harry Potter, The Boy Who Lived. We've done it. All 101. Now, with a grand whopping total of 546 house points, Ravenclaw do better. We are 246 points ahead of Slytherin. Let's go into the Great Hall. We come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. Harry told them everything. For nearly a quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it had a lot to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Yes, and courage too. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And, as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived. Alright, that is all I have for you with this game. I'm grinning from ear to ear right now because this is my first favorite game. Like I said at the beginning, well I actually made a mistake in the beginning. First favorite game is this game, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, followed by probably Donkey Kong Country 2, and then Wada no Hara. But, just, this is just such a big part of my childhood. Like. And I'm just so happy I got to share it, finally. I have to thank Nitsua Gamer for allowing me to use the Green Gods footage. And definitely a big, big thank you to Mare Bear, my friend, who actually gave me her Dazzle capture card so I could actually do this. 
just and all of you for watching of course like this is like my main Harry Potter like experience like I play I'm pretty sure I played this game before I saw the movie or read the book Chamber of Secrets always has a special place in my heart and it's like kind of like when I think about Harry Potter it's kind of what I go to so I'm just happy I got to share this with y'all so this is my playthrough for this year I will most likely play this again on my own time next year because <laughs> I can't help myself but we had ups, we had downs, we had various things that we, some, I don't know, I, I just, look, I, look, I don't even know, I don't even really know, but I'm going to let the rest of it play, I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to let this game play, let's play, and I'm thank y'all so much for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, do what you gotta do, see you in the next game, love y'all, bye!